My name is Sam Baknin and I am a columnist in Brussels Morning. And today we are going to discuss misconceptions and delusions, also known as Trump and the Palestinian state. Nowhere is delusional wishful thinking more evident than when it comes to Donald Trump and or to a Palestinian state. First, Trump, the way he always likes it. <laughs> In history, there's a long tradition of outlaws and rebels turned heroes and kings. Robin Hood comes to mind, and so does King David. But unlike Robin Hood and King David, when it comes to US politics, Donald Trump is a destroyer, not a reformer, nor, ironically, a builder. Criminal indictments only burnish and cement his credentials is the enfant terrible for of all things establishment. The masses in the West feel that they are being held hostage and enslaved by rapacious, venal and mendacious elites. They regard these elites and their values as avowed enemies. The West, governments, academia, mainstream media, science, the finance industry and above all, of course, as usual, the Jews. The enemies of the elites are the friends of the masses. Terrorists, anti-Semites, conspiracy theorists, Russia, China, populist authoritarians, the alt-right, and authoritarian politicians like Orban, Putin, Erdogan, and Trump. The masses abuse democracy and empowering technologies in order to destroy the established order. And this is José Ortega y Cassette's Revolt of the Masses, which always results in ochlocracies, mob rule, and atrocities. Apropos atrocities, let us discuss the Palestinian state. Exactly like owning a gun and driving a car, attaining one's own statehood requires a level of maturity and training, as well as experience. Rogue states are sooner or later doomed to disappear, and this is the fate of kleptocrats and bullying thugs. Every single time the Palestinians have gained a modicum of autonomy and have enjoyed tens of billions in international aid, 44 billion between 1994 and 2020, the Palestinians botched the whole thing and reverted to terrorism, corruption, bloody coups, and misgovernance. Their track record of defined incom defiant incompetence is both mind-boggling and abominable. Both the Palestinian Authority and Hamas are egregious, venal kleptocracies, with the latter, Hamas, also an Islamist death cult. Palestinians are not ready for a state. The international community needs to establish a mandate protectorate over the territories assigned to a future Palestinian state and educate the indigenous population and the local leadership in how countries act. Governance, rule of law, democracy, you know, all these basic things. Only once they are deemed ready should the Palestinians be allowed to form a polity which would not constitute a danger to itself and to its neighbors. It might take a while though 